We begin with a tiny baby finally home in Utah tonight. Little Hayden, born prematurely and unexpectedly on a Caribbean cruise ship. What a journey he's had in his short life. And good for Utah's Aldo Vasquez reports from Ogden. He's been on a cruise ship and two plane rides, all within the first 100 days of his life. And it's been a long road for the Morgans these past couple of weeks, but they're now happy to have their whole family together here in Utah. It, it's hard to put it into words that we're kind of coming to the end of the road and he's actually coming home. So it's, it is a very surreal feeling. And just like that, Hayden's journey has finally brought him home to Utah. But let's go back a few months when Hayden's parents, Emily and Chase, and his sister, Chloe, went on a family cruise. Hayden obviously wanted to join in on the fun as he arrived on September 2nd, well ahead of his December 19th due date, weighing in at only one pound, six ounces. In the middle of the ocean, miles from the nearest hospital, his family never lost hope for his survival, calling him a fighter. There was a 10% a chance that he would make it. So he's definitely exceeded those expectations, and, and he's actually a lot further than what they thought. He's, he started taking bottles a number of, month, a number of weeks ago, and um, his breathing has been on very low settings, and so he's surpassed their expectations. Anxious for his arrival, family and friends crowded into the CB Jet Center at the Ogden Airport, welcoming signs and balloons waiting for the newest family member. Now happy, the family knew it would cause problems if Hayden wasn't home soon. And that's when the University of Utah and AirMed stepped in to help the Morgans. It's a Utah family. Um, it is not something that very many people in the country can do. We're the only uh, program in the state that could do it. And we just felt uh, that, that it was important for us to, to step up and, and be there. Cheers of joy and excitement met Hayden and his flight crew before he was loaded into an ambulance on his way to McKinney Hospital. His family can't um, express their gratitude enough for all the love and support from a time they will never forget. It will be something that we never will ever be able to repay them for, but just the love and appreciation that we can and just saying thank you for what they did for us. It's not exactly sure when Hayden will get to go home as he still needs to be evaluated at McKady Hospital. Some of the concerns are the elevation difference and getting his oxygen levels in control. The hospital in Florida didn't believe he would get out until the first week of December, but he's home now, here, mid-November, showing he is a fighter. Reporting in Ogden, Aldo Vasquez, good for Utah. What a story. Thank you, Aldo.